going to use what we've learned in previous tutorials to create a cup. We're going to start with a cylinder. We'll make sure we have enough segments in there. Alright, now that we got the shape about where we want it, we're going to create an editable poly. So convert to editable poly. Click on our vertices here. We're going to select all but the top vertices there. We're going to scale this, but when we scale this, we want to make sure that we scale the entire circumference of this. So we're going to grab that one. You can see that we're actually scaling the entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep bringing this down so that we get a bevel effect. When you get something you're happy with, we'll come over to the faces, and because we use the cylinder, we have a solid object. So we're going to take this, and we're going to click on the top, and we're going to delete the top. So now we have a hollow cup with a bottom in it. And now we're going to make a straw to go into the cup. So for this one, we'll use a tube, and when you draw this tube, it's important that you pull it down because of when we put the bend on it. So that'll be one side of the straw, the long side, and we'll draw the short side, pulling it down as well. And then we'll come back and modify this a little bit to make it look more like a straw. So we'll put a radius on this as 6 for the first one. For the second one, let's try 5. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, and for this one, we want to do the same thing. So we'll use 6 and 5. And then we'll come over here to the, our extended primitives, and we're going to use a hose. So we'll draw, we'll zoom in a little bit here. We'll draw our hose, and we'll edit it later once we get something that we're relatively happy with there. click uh, bound to object pivots and what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to connect the bend part of our straw to our two straw pieces so over here we'll have a button pick top object and pick bottom object so what we'll do is we'll click on this pick top object and we'll click on the top of the straw and then we'll click on pick bottom object We'll click on the bottom of the straw. Alright, so now we have a little bit of editing to do with our straw. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come down and set the starts to zero. 
and ends to a hundred because we want it to start at the zero and end with a hundred percent and we'll look at what that does in just a little while on our cycles we're gonna put our cycles up that's going to tell us how many bumps are in there if you get it too much it'll actually start going the opposite way so we'll leave it at that for right now all right we're going to come back up to where we picked our top and our bottom object. We're going to set our tensions. Um, we'll start with our tensions at 30 and 30. And you can adjust these to whatever looks right. Alright, now we can go back and look at this um, start and ends percentage and see what's going on here. If we had left that where it was, at 20%, notice that we don't get any ridges over here. That's the, that's the 20% mark. And if you put, pull that down to 90%, which is where it was originally, it does the same thing on the other side. That's the the 90 percent mark from here so if we pull that back down again we get the ridges all the way across and the last thing we need to do is we need to scroll down to almost the bottom we're going to adjust the diameter of this bin part just a little bit so that it matches our straw looks pretty close. So now that we got that, we're going to come up here and we're going to put a color on our straw. And I'm going to use kind of a off-white for now. And I'm going to do the same with the top and the bottom of the straw so it looks like it's all one piece. Now we'll take our straw, I'll select everything in our straw, and I'm going to move it so that it's over in our cup. Remember to do this, all this in 2D, and we can adjust this. This straw looks really big compared to this cup, so we can adjust the diameters. Um, go back and for each one adjust the diameter to make it a little more to scale, or we can actually select each part of the straw itself and we can scale our straw down. And we'll also need to come over here and adjust the diameter of our tube. Again. And now notice when I pull this all together, put it in the cup, and I move one part of the straw, it's connected to the bend part. So if I rotate this, it's going to rotate. The bend part of the straw is going to bend with it. So we can animate that or do whatever we need to do to that in our scene.